Okay, so um, as I sort of see it, the thing that blocks me off from uh, from being from from the light of who I'm meant to be, or that connection to God, is there's two things: my repressed feelings and my my thoughts, my belief systems that I'm that I'm the operating software of the ego. So. <coughs> When I, uh, when I got my kidney failure as a result of being an extreme addict and I was facing death and I, I, was, I was given, um, was introduced to Dr. David R. Hawkins, uh, one of the things he said was um, that the manifestations of extreme addiction uh, can eventually manifest an illness and not just addiction but physical illness and I had kidney failure and he said, and he said something really incredible, I want to talk a little bit about, the, he, he gave a little formula like if you've got any negative belief that you're holding in your mind, whatever it is, any thought like I, you know, I'm, I, you know, um, I'm, uh, what, what's a negative belief? Yeah. Well, I had negative beliefs, so I picked them up. Whatever beliefs you've got, you just look at your life, and if anything's going bad in your life, you've got a belief around it. So it's quite pretty, like you know, kind of have beliefs around money, like uh, I don't deserve to have much money, or uh, whatever, or so. Uh, you can you can cancel your, so he said whatever the belief is I cancel my belief in X I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind which is similar to uh, lesson 14 in the Course in Miracles which says uh, God did not create cancer so it is not real so cancer but according to the Course in Miracles cancer is a belief that's all it is it's a belief. Any belief which you hold in your ego manifests. So if I believe in cancer, then it manifests. If I didn't believe in cancer, I wouldn't have cancer. Because as the Course in Miracles says, this world is an illusion of separation, fear and separation. It's an illusion of fear and separation, and all the beliefs are part of the collective insanity that are manifesting. So you can cancel anything that's in this mad world, and it will go. That's what the Course says. So. This is quite, you know, I, you know my first uh, degree was in biochemistry, uh, I did an MBA, so I really believe that everything in the world is real. But actually, I, I had a white light spiritual experience with Muji, and I realized the power of the light of God comes in letting go of my beliefs and accessing a source of infinite light and love, which is more incredible. That's, accessing that infinite light and love is more amazing than, what, than a doctor's pill or than, uh, than anything out there in the world. And in fact, um, I remember, I just wanted to share this in terms of how, because when we start to do the counseling beliefs together as a group, like, is the, you know, the ego will have a lot of disbelief that you can counsel anything, any negative thought that you're holding in. Like, surely not. Surely what the world has taught me is real. Like, what science teaches is real. What you hear on the news is real what all the uh, economists say is real, but actually it's all of it are just um, part of the collective insanity of the thing. So I believed in science, like um, if uh, all these illnesses, they have biochemical fundamental things, they're caused by viruses and various things, you know, kidney failure, you have to have a machine to clear out your uh, toxicity in the blood. So I believed in all of that. that surely that's, all of that's real. Surely it's not all an illusion, is it? And I remember going to see Muji with a horrific pain and inflammation in my feet and really limping there. And, I had, and he, he did this self-inquiry on me and I had a white light spiritual experience. And within, when I came out of that spiritual experience, all the gout and the pain was gone. I didn't even remember it was there. I went in and the day seemed dark and afterwards it seemed like it was a bright summer's day all of that within a few seconds. So that's what it's like just to connect to the light of God. It's just me holding on to all of these negative beliefs is cutting me off from incredible miracles, incredible healing, <coughs> incredible light, and incredible abundance that the universe is waiting to give to me. But I can't get it because I have so many limiting ideas and software about how the world should operate around health, around relationships, around everything. So that's what happens when you just let go of limiting beliefs for a few seconds, what I experienced. So I realized, I remember also meeting uh, Muji with kidney failure, and I thought, well, I, you, know, I'm a, I, you know, I come from a medical background, there's medical reasons. And I you know, had this brain fog and this exhaustion in my body all the time. 
I'm sure there's a medical reason, but I had, he asked me this, uh, these self-inquiry questions, and within a few seconds, I was full of light, clear-headed, and full of energy and vitality. And surely, like, just him asking a few questions to let go of my thinking can't take away a medical condition, but it did. So I just wanted to share that. So if you've got whatever you believe, you know, you can cancel your belief, you know, um, so you can cancel your belief in anything. And there's great power, because when you hold a negative thought in mind, it manifests. You know, you're, you sort of drive it and manifest, so you can cancel them all. Uh, and I did. I cancelled my belief in gout, and within, um, within uh, three, three years, the gout attack stopped. I cancelled my belief in asthma, uh, and then the asthma attack stopped, and I was discharged from the hospital. Cancelled my belief in kidney failure, I got a transplant, so I was off the machine. So all of these things, I just cancelled the belief. You know, and it was like that was, and then the miracles came in. And uh, so I cancel my belief in whatever it is. I'm an infinite being. Now, if you're new, if anyone's had spiritual experiences where they felt in this kind of infinite timeless now, the infinite timeless now, it's hard to describe, in a state of flow or bliss, if you've had those experiences, you're not feeling limited or contracted or even identified with your thoughts or your body in those moments. Now when you've had those, maybe even as a kid, if you can't remember them re recently, or in a church, or in a cathedral, or whatever, those infinite timeless spiritual experiences, what I would say is, uh, what I'd say with those is, those experiences are the real you. Now when you go into your contracted, I'm my thinking, I'm my body, that's the false you. So you go into your limited thinking, and then you experience yourself as being limited. So when you cancel your belief and then state, I'm an infinite being, you're stating the truth. That you're stating that you're not that limited idea. You are the infinite truth of who you really are. And you're only subject to the limiting ideas that you're holding in mind. So uh, we'll go around and if any of the new people want some, um, want some guidance on that, um, I'm happy to help with that. Okay.